Hey guys, how you doing? This is Juan with Liberty Graphic Designs and today we're gonna modify, not modify, but we're gonna customize this piece of luggage. So don't go anywhere. Have you ever gone through the hassle, not, well, yeah, hassle, frustration of when you're traveling and you're sitting right there waiting for your luggage to come around on that belt and they all look the same? Well, we're gonna customize this one to your, well, we're gonna personalize it. That way, whenever you're waiting for your piece of luggage, you know exactly which one it is. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure this, you know, with, which is 16 inches by 16 by 24. 16 by 24, so the best way to customize this will be to just wrap it around, right? Make one tube and then slide it in there and done. So, but what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut four different pieces. And the only reason why I'm gonna do that is so it's easier to sublimate. I will waste less material like that. So again, 24 by 16, and then right here is gonna be 10 inches. So we already know the measurements. Measurements are super easy, <laughs> super, super easy. 10 inches by 24 and 16 by 24. So now we're gonna create a square and then that's where we're gonna put our um, images, I guess, your name, whatever it is that you wanna do. So let's go over there and just design it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna create that one square, right? Or two squares. And one of them was 24. So up is 24 um, by 10. Actually, I did the wrong. There you go, 24 by 10. And we'll just make a copy. And I'm using Corel Draw 2020. Um, just for those of you that would like to know that information. And we're gonna make a copy of this. We're gonna make this one 16 inches, but I don't wanna go a full 16 because I want it to be kind of tight. We're gonna bring this one down to um, to 9.5. Uh, Cause we want it to be, uh, when, when it wraps around, we want it to be nice and tight. Um, let me go down on this. Okay, so we got, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's grab this bottom. Uh, and then it was 24 inches up. So I'm gonna go 25 just so it wraps around on top. And then we're gonna take and now right here, this is where we're gonna customize it. So in, in, in this case, I'm just gonna put my name on it. So let's put in there, um, all capital, Cortez. And right here, you can put your address if you like. Let's select um, something that looks kinda cool right there. So artwork, you know, it's gonna be super easy, right? Uh, let me see. So. I'm gonna do that one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have it come down right there. So something like that. And then, so on this one and this one, we're gonna put a picture. You can put a picture of yourself. You can do whatever you want, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go Waco, Texas, and I'm going to look for some images. And I'm just going on the good old, um, internet and let me see so we can pick something that that is related to waco texas uh, let me see which one do i like best so um, that's gonna be a little dark okay so this this image right here is really cool this is back in the 50s i believe so we're just gonna copy I'm just gonna copy the image. Let's go back to our um, we're back in uh, Corel. So let's flip this over. 90. So send it to the back. And then what I'm gonna do is see like right here there's the information of I don't know whoever put it there. Uh, so we're gonna try to, I'm gonna put a color on the, 
on the square that I have there. Don't worry, their color will not show up, but I just want to see where um, the image is. There you go. And then what I'm going to do again, I'm going to Corel draw. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to power clip that into that, um, into the, into the uh, square. So I'm going to go back online and now I'm going to select another image, um, also related to Waco, but this time I'm thinking of the bridge. There's a suspension bridge. The, mm, no, because I'm going to use this one as a background. So we can just grab, you know, that's too girly. <laughs> Let's grab this one right here. So we're going to, again, copy the uh, image, go back and Corel draw, paste it. This one right here, I'm going to flip it. You can either flip it to 70 or 90 degrees, up to you. And then gonna place it right there, send it to the back. Move that one out of the way, and we're gonna sublimate this. Um, we're gonna sublimate it, so that's why I'm doing uh, this right here. Then we're gonna power clip it inside that square. There you go. I'm gonna change that color because obviously you're not gonna be able to see it. Uh, let's go with blue. I'm gonna go with blue, and then we'll put um, an outline just like that. Actually, I wanted to do the outline. Let's do the outline on the outside instead of the inside. So I still have it in blue, just like that. Make sure that that's in the center. Right there. And um, size, we got, I'm gonna bring it down to 20 inches. I mean, 20 inches is pretty big, right? By six. So that's it. So now our name is going to be on the, let me um, put those two together. And now the name is going to be on the side of the luggage. So I need two of these, one for, the, one for the front, one for the back. So we just copy and paste. Um, actually, let me, let me see if I can save on paper if I turn it this way. Probably not. I'm just, right now I'm just trying to save uh, paper. So I will be wasting that little spot right there, but that's good, it's not too much. So I'm gonna center that. Right there. Okay, so there it is. Um, if you wanted to add like family, if you wanted to add your address, you know, stuff like that, you can add it anywhere in here. So that's it for me on this one. So all we got to do now is save it and then let's go save it. We're going to go back over here, create a new folder, and then I'm just going to put a bag uh, for now. Open it and luggage is fine. And then we're going to export it to as a PDF and I saved it uh, under bag, right there. Luggage, PDF, done. Let's start our RIP software, and we'll send it to the RIP. We'll send it to the uh, RIP software and print it. Let's just wait a little bit for this to actually start. So now that we're in the uh, RIP software, we're gonna add a, a job, and we're gonna look for the one that we just created, which is this one right here. Um, select it. We're gonna add, oops, gonna make it a little more colorful and print it. That's it. Okay, so then we'll just wait for the, uh, the prints to come out. And while that is getting printed, we're gonna cut our fabric. Just so you guys know, I'm using uh, spandex. So this stuff st stretches a lot. So um, that's what we're gonna be using right now. And remember, we need a 16, or oh, actually we need two 16 by 24s, actually 15 by 24, and then 124 by 9. So let me cut a hole right here so I can go this way. Okay, so now we got the uh, heat press ready to go. All I gotta do now is align my fabric 
making sure that I don't overlap. And I'm gonna cut this one by, uh, by hand with scissors so it don't have to be perfect like you saw me doing on the shirts. This one can be, oh, with jagged edges like you see it right now. So I'm gonna slide it in there. Hopefully, hopefully we don't screw it up. There you go. Okay, so we'll just wait for the, the printed or the sublimated um, pieces to come out on the, at the bottom. We can start sewing it together. Super easy, very, very easy. So we got these pieces already sublimated, right? So we get them out of here. Okay, so now that we got them sublimated, we can either cut them by hand, like cut the, uh, the excess off, or we can actually have the machine cut it. But I'm gonna cut some of it out because the other machine, the, the one that I'm gonna do the hemming with, that one does not cut. So I'm gonna cut that by hand. The bottom and the top of it, that's the only thing I'm gonna cut. The sides I can cut with the machine while I'm uh, sewing it together. And just so you know, if you guys don't have a means to uh, sublimate something this big, or you don't have the means to sublimate anything at all, you don't have to sublimate it. You can just buy the different color uh, fabric and you can sew it at home and make it one of these, one of these uh, covers for your luggage. Basically, I'm just doing this for the video. Okay, so now we're gonna go to sew it together. And like I was saying, this part right here, the excess, I didn't have to, to cut because I can always cut it with the, or the machine will actually cut it for me. You'll see it in a little bit. All I gotta do is just line them up, like so. And the machine will cut the excess for me. If you wanna do this at home, you would actually have to cut it um, by hand unless you have one of these machines that can cut and sew at the same time. There it is. So before I do the hemming on the top and bottom, I'm gonna fit it to the, to the uh, luggage. That way if I need to modify it, I can do the modifications right now. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab the luggage and we're gonna slide this over it. And right here, this is what I'm talking about. If I need to make modifications, which is, I do, it will be at the, at the corners. Um, so it's a tighter fit, then I'll make them right now before I go to do the hemming. There you go. I'm gonna take it over, do some modifications, and then we can do the hemming. And if you notice, the corners were a little loose, so I'm gonna cut about a half an inch, just at the top and the bottom. Okay, so now let's go do the hemming. There you go, so right here we'll do the finishing touches. So that's it. That's what it'll look like on the inside. And now it should be uh, a better fit with those uh, few modifications. There you go. Right there. So now you won't have a problem, you know, knowing which one is your bag. Uh, one thing that I would do different is I would round one on the top, you know, like a, maybe like a Velcro on top and the bottom to keep it in place. So that's it for this video, guys. This was a very simple, fun uh, video to do. Again, you ha you don't ha if you want to do something like this, you don't have to use uh, sublimation. You can do it just straight fabric. Just go buy some fabric that is colorful, something that you like. Make this right here. 
and you won't have a problem finding your luggage. Uh, I used, on this one I used uh, um, spandex, but um, I will use something thicker so it'll withstand the, you know, the, the heavy uh, throwing and you know, how, you know how it is at the airport. So I will use something heavier than just uh, spandex. This is the only material that I had handy right away. So that's why I used spandex, but you don't have to use that. I will probably use something bigger as long as it actually stretches enough so it'll go, so it'll go on the luggage. So, but that's it. Thank you for watching guys. It was a pleasure like always. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so and, and ding that little bell so you get notified whenever I, I upload new videos. Thank you guys. It was a pleasure like always and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye bye now. See you later. God bless you. Adios.